When all hope seemed lost, a mysterious sweetheart arrived. In the heart of the vast African plains stood a kingdom renowned for its lush landscape and majestic beauty. At its helm reigned a benevolent king and queen. Their love for each other as boundless as their devotion for their people. Together, they nurtured a kingdom steeped in prosperity and harmony. Their reign blessed with the joyous laughter of their beloved daughter, Princess Adama. From a young age, Adama possessed a radiant spirit that charmed all who crossed her path. With eyes as bright as the morning sun and a smile that would light up the darkest of nights, she brought joy and happiness to the hearts of her parents and subjects alike. But fate, as capricious as the wind that swept across the plains, had other plans in store for the young princess. In the midst of a bountiful harvest season, tragedy struck in the kingdom like a bolt of lightning from the heavens above. A mysterious illness swept through the land, claiming the lives of the king and queen, leaving behind a gaping void in the hearts of their people and their grief-stricken daughter to ascend the throne at a tender age. The shock of her parents' sudden passing reverberated through Adama's soul like a thunderous clap, shattering the illusion of security and stability she had once known. In the depths of her despair, she found herself adrift in a sea of overwhelming emotions, grief, anger, and profound sadness, swirling within her like a tempestuous storm. Adama sought solace in the only comfort she could find, the warmth of the food that offered fleeting respite from the crushing weight of her sorrow. Day by day, she sought refuge in the indulgent mm. embrace of rich and decadent dishes, her once slender frame gradually expanding under the weight of her grief until she became unrecognizable to those who had known her in her youth. Her once graceful figure, which had once glided effortlessly through the palace halls, now bore the burden of her sorrow in form of layers of excess weight. Her cheeks, once rosy and flushed with vitality, now appeared bloated and swollen from the endless feasting that had become her only solace. The sparkle in her eyes, once as bright as the stars that adorned the night sky, had dimmed, overshadowed by the darkness of her despair. As the months passed, the once vibrant palace halls fell silent, haunted by the echoes of Adama's sorrowful cries that pierced the stillness of the night. Consumed by her own misery, she turned a deaf ear to the concerns of her people and the pleas of her uncle, who watched her with a heavy heart as his beloved niece descended further into the depths of despair. Despite his best efforts to counsel her on the importance of maintaining her health and royal appearance, Adama's grief fueled descent into gluttony, blinded her to the consequences of her actions. In her desperation to fill the void left by her parents' untimely demise, she allowed herself to be consumed by the comforts of food, heedless of the toll it took on her body and her kingdom. Her uncle, a wise and compassionate man, tried in vain to reason with her, urging her to heed to the concern of her people and reclaim the mantle of leadership that had been thrust upon her at a such a tender age. But his words fell on deaf ears, drowned out by the cacophony of Adama's own despair as she sank deeper into the abyss of her own making. Consumed by her own misery, Adama dismissed his advice, 
even going so far as to order his public execution, silencing the one voice of reason in her life. In her darkest hour, when all hope seemed lost, a mysterious sweeter arrived, offering a glimmer of light amidst the darkness that shrouded her kingdom. It was a day like any other, the sun hanging in the sky as the palace guards stood watch over the majestic gates and guarded the kingdom's most sacred treasures. But as the afternoon sun began its slow descent towards the horizon, a lone figure appeared on the horizon, a shimmering mirage amidst the swaying grassland of the African plains. Clocked in the vibrant hues of the setting sun, the stranger cut a striking figure against the backdrop of the sprawling landscape. His presence was an enigma, a puzzle waiting to be solved as he approached the palace gates with a confidence born of purpose and determination. As the guards stepped forward to challenge him, the stranger raised a hand in greeting, his voice calm and unwavering as he spoke of his desire to seek an audience with the princess. Though wary of his intentions, the girls could not deny the sincerity that he radiated from his words, and so they ushered him into the palace grounds where Adama awaited his arrival with a mixture of curiosity and trepidation. From the moment their eyes met, there was undeniable spark, an invisible thread that bound them together in a dance as old as time itself. Unlike the others who had come before him, the suitor showed genuine affection and kindness towards her, his words and action resonating with sincerity. In the days that followed, he proved himself time and again, his devotion to Adama unwavering the face of adversity. He listened to her fears and hopes, offering comfort and reassurance in times of uncertainty. He stood by her side as she grappled with the weight of her grief, his presence a beacon of light amidst the darkness that threatened to consume her. But it was not only in words that he showed his affection for her, but also in deeds. He spent countless hours by her side, his hands killed in the art of healing as he tended to the needs of her people with compassion and grace. He laughed with her in times of joy and held her close in moments of sorrow. His unwavering support a testament to the depth of his love for her. As the days turned into weeks and weeks into months, Adama found herself drawn to him in ways she could never have imagined. Despite her initial skepticism, she allowed herself to open her heart to him, to believe that perhaps, just perhaps, she found the love and acceptance she had so desperately sought. But alas, as fate would have it, the suitor's true intentions were not as pure as they seemed. In the moment when Adama's guard was down and her heart open, he seized the opportunity to betray her trust. His hands stained with the blood of treachery as he snuffed the light out of her life. And then, in a moment that sent shockwaves through the kingdom, the suitor made a bold proclamation, declaring himself the rightful heir to the throne and asserting his claim to the kingdom's crown. With a cunning smile and a glint of triumph in his eyes, he cast aside the facet of affection and revealed the true depths of his ambition, a thirst for power that knew no bounds. In the aftermath of her tragic demise, the kingdom mourned the loss of their beloved princess reflecting upon the harsh judgments they had cast upon her in life. But amidst their grief and regret, they were forced to confront uncomfortable truth. Adama's downfall lay not solely in her physical transformation or the treachery of her suitor, 
but rather in her refusal to heed the warnings of those around her. By disregarding the concerns of her people and allowing her grief to consume her, she fell victim to the very judgments she had sought to escape. And so, as the kingdom mourned the loss of their beloved princess, they were reminded of the importance of humility and self-awareness and the dangers of allowing pride and arrogance to cloud one's judgments. For in the end, Adama's tragic fate served as a sobering reminder that sometimes society's judgment hold a glimpse of truth within them and that ignoring them can lead to dire consequences. If you don't want to miss the most exciting African folk tales, make sure to subscribe. Till next time!